Is that a fucking Dragonkin soldier? You would not! This is fucking insane. Oh, it's coming with the sword! Oh, hello! Where are you? Where are you? Ah! Uh... Hello everyone, it's your boy Lukel, and welcome back to episode 24 of Elden Ring. As usual, a big thank you for joining me in the Lands Between. As you can see, the weather is kind of shit right now in the Lands Between, but still I'm excited for today's episode, as I always am, because this game, even though it's been like, how long has it been now? <laughs> 63 hours. Even though it's been 63 hours, it still kind of feels like we're barely like halfway done with this game. And uh, more importantly, the game still manages to surprise me in almost every episode. So very excited about today. Last episode, we explored most of what remained in Kaelid. We faced a bunch of like little mini bosses. So I'm gonna try and finish up Kaelid for good today. And then I guess we'll be moving on to the Atlas Plateau. So, so grab yourself a little snack and let's jump right in. So if you remember, I was still looking for that girl that Gari mentioned, uh, Millicent, I believe. And uh, while looking around on the map, I saw like what looks to be kind of a structure here. And I, I don't think I've been here. Uh, so I'm going to try and make my way there. This might be where Millicent is. Uh, okay, let's find a way to drop down there that's not too dangerous. Okay, just regular old skeletons coming out of the ground, you know. Not that unusual of a sight in the lands between. Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Right, because there's an item there. Okay, we got another big squid. Yeah, I haven't been here. Another star-like sh star -like shards. Oh, and there's a set of grace right there. So, is this where Millicent is? Oh, I think I see someone there, actually. Church of the Plague. Yep, that's gotta be her. Uh, you don't mind if I just touch grass first? Lost Grace! It's been a while. And grab this, golden... Wait, no, it's a sacred tier. Oh, we haven't found one of those in a while, actually. Uh... Oh, she... she looks... she doesn't look too bad. Who's there? I'm here to help. It matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rock. So I've heard. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with. I am man. no man. If you are wise, my flesh wrack. Uh, if you are wise, okay. Do I need to use that? No, I can't use... I can't use the needle. I think I need to bring the needle back to Gauri first. And then I guess he'll... He'll like come up with some cure for her. Not a cure, because he said it can't be cured, but something that can, like, slow down. But why... Like, why does Gauri care? What's in it for him? What's his deal? Why does he care what happens to this girl? I don't know. Uh, he's actually pretty close to here, isn't he? Yeah, he's, like, right down there. Okay, so let's go see him, let's give him the gold needle, and hopefully we don't come to regret it. Ah, oh, it's these bitches. Oh. oh wow, they are all over this place, okay. Uh, I don't want to fight you guys, because there's way too many of you. There's that giant... I kind of want to kill that giant, actually, because he was shooting, like, magic shit at us. 
Why are you guys like on fire? Okay, I guess that's why. <laughs> Y'all already ganging up on me, but it's not gonna work. I'm too strong. Too strong for the likes of you. <laughs> Bunch of pots. Did you kill all these chars or were they already dead or what's the deal here? Yo. Get frost bit. See, if you fought back instead of taking this time to roar at me, uh, you might still be alive. I feel like I've probably missed a bunch of stuff in Kaelid, but I just kind of want to be done with this place. <laughs> it's so... It's so oppressive and anxiety inducing being in here. I just want to leave this place. Alright, the dog is back. Gari is a little guard dog. Uh, I'm not even gonna attack it. Alright, Gari. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. I am a As woman of my promised, word. I've detailed the secret of Celia. Oh yeah, 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 the right secret of Celia. Here. Go on. It's yours. How to open all these gates? Okay, okay, Celia's secret. Now let me have a look at the needle. Sure. Mm. 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 Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. Is it? The work of a true artisan. A it is broken, right? An old craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? Certainly. As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Indeed. Can you give me as well made? All right. So, what's the secret of Celia? I'm dying to know. The town of Celia hides the source, like three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. The candle towers? The candle towers. There were like rooftops uh, in Celia that I couldn't get to. I didn't really try all that hard. I need to find my way to that rooftop, I guess. It's a little too high. Ow, ow. Alright, there's gotta be a way to climb up there. Maybe if I go on the tree. Yep. Um uh. Ah yo yeah 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 ouch. Was this? Kerulin Tear Scarab, that's another helmet. Um, I don't really see anywhere where I could be lighting up candles. Let's see, can we light up something up there? Oh, oh, okay, okay. A seal was broken in town somewhere, but I need to find like three of these, right? Okay, well, the other tower is there. Uh, what about the third one? Ah, oh shit. 
Not sure where the third one is. Okay, bye. Uh, ah, shit. All right, let's focus on these uh, these towers first. We'll deal with these guys later. All right, this is tower number two. I mean, if I had explored a little better, I, I probably could have found that. <laughs> without having to be told about it, but I guess that's my bad. I'm not exploring better. Stone sword key. And the final one would be... Alright, I need to... I just need to find that third tower. Unless the seal's already broken? <gasps> it is! Oh? Oh? Okay, so it just means some seals are still closed, but it did open this one. Okay. And uh, where does this lead me? Is there anything back here? Uh... Oh, there's like a giant statue there. I thought there was like an enemy for a second. Yeah, I don't think it's... It's Skinner Man. What is that? A, is that an enemy? No, it's a statue. Okay. I mean, you never know in this game. <laughs> you just never know. Ugh. And that's death! That's fine. We'll respawn right next to it. Is there something up here? There doesn't seem to be. Oh, I think... Yeah, there's the last tower right there. I think I need to walk on the... So, like, what's the point of being able to come up here? Like, what, what does this do? Is there a point to being here? Ah, shit! Ooh. Right, I can walk on this. Uh. Ugh. 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 Okay, that didn't feel quite right, but we made it, so don't question it. Is something special gonna happen once I activate all three, or is it just that all the seals are gonna be gone now? Alright, that's all three seals. Uh, Alright, let's try and check out every door that was locked. A staff of loss. Okay. There is that one beetle up there that's kind of like taunting me. Can I reach that? Uh, it's in a really tricky spot. What are you doing? Playing with some glowy shit? I need to attack this one with like a projectile. Shit. Uh, okay, let's try and see any open doors. I remember there was one like back here. Oh, it lit to a chest. 
Ow, 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 ow. You motherfuckers. I don't have to call my boys. You bastards. Where's my shield? What the fuck? What a clusterfuck. I didn't have my shield for some reason. She was. Want some too, Grandpa? Whew. Alright, so what's in the chest? Oh! We got our third imbued sword key! Oh, that's very nice. Uh, okay. I don't remember what other... Like, magic gates there were. Let's look around and I guess we'll find it. Nice, so now we get to go to the crumbling lands. Now we'll get to see what that is. Okay, so what other gate was there? I don't really remember. There's the one up there that doesn't really lead to anything. Sit down. I don't remember where that where that third gate was. Oh, here it is, I guess. Night Comet. Uh, that's probably the skill that they're using against me. So was that all three? Is that everything there is to see here? He hit me with a book. Oh, another one. Okay, so there's more than I thought. There's more than three. A Speldrake Talisman plus one. Okay. So it was more than three gates. So I guess let's look around. Wait, there's a boss here? Was this like locked off before? Oh yeah, I think it was. Okay, so we got a boss here. Let's see who it is. Nox Swordstress, Nox Monk. That's it, just you two? All right, you hit pretty hard. This doesn't feel like the actual boss, it feels like they're protecting the real boss. You know? Because there's just like two kind of regular enemies and there's like another door behind them. Are they by chance protecting the real boss? And also, these Nux Sorceress are from Nuxtello, right? So why are they here in Celia? Alright, so watch out for this guy with the mace, because he hits pretty hard. I can do this by myself. I don't need summons for this. Ow. Shit. 
They do hit pretty hard, but I can do this. Okay, that's one. Unless you've got surprises in store for me. Anyone else? Okay. Nox Flowing Sword. Okay, no one else behind them, okay. I mean, I am here pretty late, so if I was here, like, earlier in the game, it, it would have been really hard, I guess. Yeah, that gave me, like, nothing. I don't trust. Lusat's Glenstone Staff. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Gary again, I suppose. I don't really get why you could go up there. Like, there was nothing there, right? Like, it opened this huge door. There must be something behind here. Like, there's a side of Grace, but what about it? Oh, wait. I think you can drop there. Can you? No. Then what's the point of this place? Oh, actually, I didn't keep exploring up here. There might be something more. Anything else up here? Uh, that's a big ball. Okay, anything else other than the giant iron ball? Another giant iron ball. Oh, it just leads to the church. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Because you can get up to that church without having to unlock this path here, so like, what's the point? Am I missing something? Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess we're done with this place. There is that one like beetle up there, but oh well. I don't really care that much. Ow! Y'all need to work on your hospitality. What's up, Gauri? What do you have for me? I have awaited your return. Mm. The needle is repaired. Now okay. it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Really? Unalloyed gold needle. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond yeah. Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. What's in it for you? Like, who is this guy? Why does Do he care? Do you find it peculiar that I would show such Yeah, concern? that's literally what I just said. Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. One of? But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. Oh. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> hmm. Now, all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff. I don't know if I trust outside. this guy. Do so. And you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. But, like, I don't really know what else I could be doing with this needle. Mm. Mm. I got another secret tier. Oh, I don't think I've ever read this. Blessing of the Earth Tree worshipped in the churches of all lands. This is but a faint vestige. Uh, during the age of the Earth Tree, these tears were used to spread the faith or theirs was once a certain blessing. 
Uh, once snapped in half, it has been repaired by Sage Gauri. It is thought capable of forestalling the incurable rotting sickness. And it even gives us like the full quote of what he told us and where to give it, which... Isn't that really suspicious? I don't know. I could maybe talk to uh, Gideon about it, because Gideon knows a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. A Nux Flowing Sword. Grim weapon wielded by swordsmen of the Eternal City. This shuttle has a blade as fine as a needle. Forged from the liquid metal of a silver tear, it is thoroughly tempered until hardened. That's pretty cool. And Lusat's Glintstone Staff. Staff of the primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Lusat. Or Lusa. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may yield it. Uh, Enensis power of all sorceries consumes additional FP. And a Staff of Loss. It's a staff missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of asceticism. The staff only distinguishes itself when casting invisibility sorceries. Oh, that's why they're all invisible. That is reason enough for some to wield it. That makes sense. And you know, we also find a serpent bow. Malformed bow in the shape of a pair of poisonous snakes imbues arrows with poison through pagan magic. Revealing its true word when used with poison-infused arrows. Used by assassins known as the Formless Serpents. Cool. Alright, well, just because I find this guy, like, a little suspicious, I'm gonna go see if Gideon has anything to say about the needle, just like he did about that potion that, uh, that fucking asshole gave us. Already forgot his name. Gideon gave us a second option of what to do with it, so maybe he will for this as well. Also, anything new here? I haven't been here in a while. Gideon, my man, how are you doing? Journey to the capital. The two fingers you may be up. Okay, he has nothing to say. Well, it was worth a try. Is uh, Roger still alive? Like, he was kind of dying last time I saw him. <gasps> you fucking died! Oh no, Ratcher's belt bearing. His pointed hat. His traveling attire. Gloves, trousers. And another item. Ratcher's letter. Oh man, he died. Could I have saved him? I, I probably could have saved him, right? I must have fucked up in the side quest somehow. Uh, we got a letter. Letter written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside- Yeah, we've seen him. And it's said he stood before the Prince of Death, not far beyond that spot. He stood before the Prince of Death. I don't really remember anything about a Prince of Death in the Eternal City. But clearly, he's telling us to go there, so maybe now that Roger's dead, something different will be? Because I went there and gave him D's outfit, but then the next time I went, he was gone. So... I don't know what's going on. Fia is still gone. Fia didn't leave anything behind. That door is still closed. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna open, actually. Alright, well, uh, first things first, I guess. Let's go to Millicent. I guess we'll give her the needle if we don't have any other options. I really wonder if I could have saved Roger. I am here with your medicine. Also, he said pests were worshipping her. But I don't see anyone here. Does he mean like the skeletons that come out? Alright, I got some medicine from your father. Don't give it. You ask that I stab myself with the needle. I mean, I didn't ask that. To quell the scarlet rot. But how? I mean, do you have something to lose? I've decided. I guess you don't really have anything to lose. Trust you, then simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind? Averting your eyes for a moment. Uh. Are we getting a cutscene here? Will 
Uh, okay, no, just a fade to black. Expected. Weird. But why do I feel so? Did she die? Did he kill her? Okay. Uh, well, I can increase this, which is very nice. Oh! I guess she's all better now. Getting better? Wow, she cleaned up and everything. I hoped to see you again. You're looking good. Apologies. Oh, I think she's Tomorrow missing an arm. Met, I fainted before I could even thank you. That's okay. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Well, that's very good. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself. I can move as I please. Hey, we did a good thing. Not that I could Maybe. Ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token, though it is. Thank you. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Yeah, because she's got like a. I guess she's just missing an arm. Prosthesis heirloom raises dexterity. Uh, though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. Okay. I'm considering leaving. On a journey. Yeah, you might as well. With the needle buried in my flesh. I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. Your destiny, my huh? My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I would like that. Are you looking for your father? Because he's like literally just down there. Uh, but no, I guess she's gonna do something else. Well, you might as well leave. If you've been like sitting in this depressing church for like years now, I'm I assume. Considering leave with the needle, my destiny. All right. Well, do that. I'm guessing she's gonna be gone. She's gone. Or you know what? Good for her. I'm very happy about that. I'm all about helping people. So what does Gauri have to say about that? He should be pleased, right? Okay, I probably should have expected that. I took a chance because it doesn't really matter. Oh, these guys, that's who she was talking about. <laughs> Screw you. I've stolen your girl away. She is free from your designs. She is free to pursue her destiny. Oh, I think you can go on top of... Is there like a tunnel there? There is. Oh, interesting. Anything interesting in here? Oh, you almost surprised me, but I was kind of expecting someone. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that many. Being invisible is certainly a very useful uh, thing. So you can understand why they're doing it. Oh, there's a tower there too. I, I haven't been here, right? Caleb, 
the Kaelin map is very confusing, so like there's all these places that I'm that I missed. Hello. Oh, it's one of these guys. Whoa! Yeah, 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 it's like... Wait, is that Derry Will? Or he just moves like him? Ow. You move just like Derry Will. Wait, are you keeping someone prisoner here? Swamp Lookout Tower. Eternal Darkness. A great game, so I've heard. I've never actually played it. Uh... Okay. I'm guessing I can't climb up there, but we got a cool spell that we won't be able to use. Um, there's a church like right in front of me. Have I been there? Yes, that's the cathedral. Oh, you scared me! I thought someone was like sneaking up on me. All right, let's let's go see Gauri. He should be happy about this, hopefully. Oh, she's here. She came to thank him and. Uh, did you did you kill him by any chance? Oh, hello again. Something about this place. Oh, this might be like her actual home. So I decided where she to grew pay up. a visit, hoping to find But he's gone. Here. But I've only found emptiness. Huh. Perhaps before my departure. Why did he leave? I needed he was supposed to, to reward me. Thing. Weird. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. Yeah. I must stay strong. You're not gonna tell me where you're going by any chance? Well, I must feel I must. Alright, so he's gone. Uh he might have just moved somewhere else. Uh, so we might like run into him at some point, I guess. There's like something there, but I I don't know if that's just like a symbol for the cave. There's like a circle. Uh, anything else that looks kind of interesting? Well, good luck on your quest, Millicent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Is there anything over here? Oh, there is. It's another um, Evergel. Give me your magic. All right, so there was something here. Uh, the Celia Evergel. Let's let's go. Let's see who it is this time. Who's it gonna be? I'm ready for anything. Battle Mage Q. Ooh. A battle mage, huh? You got a oh big hammer. Second hit. Third hit. Oh fourth hit. Okay, you just got infinite hits with this shit. Jesus. Battle Mage Hugh said it's hammer time. That's okay. I was a little bit careless, but I can take this guy. All right, Ug. All right, Ug. Round two, baby. Let's dance. Let's tango. Actually, why don't I try my trusty old spear? Don't like that, huh? Oh, okay. It does interrupt him. <laughs> Francis, you're not content.
Boy, you've got long combos. Ooh. Burn! Oh, I thought it was gonna finish you off. You just had to ruin my nice ending. Oh well. And he's an Ash of War. Battle Mage Hughes. Hug. Alrighty. Well, that's taken care of. I'm gonna go and explore like this this edge here, because I saw somewhere you could go down. I, I swear there's something there. Because I definitely saw something in that little desert where Radan is. Or rather, where Radan was. Like, I think I saw some roots or something that you could climb on. Oh. Oh. Also, yes, I know how I lean, even though, like, it's useless to lean. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, stuff down there. Okay, see? That's where the root is. But, like, I saw, like, some shiny blue thing. This one has a little hat. Just you here? Okay, well, if it's just... Eee, yikes! Yikes, yikes, yikes! That nearly killed me. Uh, very lucky to have the exact amount of HP that I have, because uh, I would be dead. Sorry for disturbing you, ma'am. I uh, will be on my way. I wonder if we'll see Alexander again. I wonder about a lot of things in this game. Because usually when you see these big like branches, these giant branches, it's because you can kind of walk on them. Alright, let's just risk it. Ooh. Oh, see, there's something blue there. What's the blue? Oh, this is very risky. Oh, this is very risky, but I think I might be onto something. Ooh, there is definitely something there. Uh, okay, I think it is safer on the horse, though. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. Let's be careful. Let's be very careful. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. Uh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Um, and I hope I don't have to climb back down here, because it's... Oh, it's a giant and he's got, like, a, a magic axe. That's what's glowing. Okay. Oh, that might be a problem. He might be very strong. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. If I want the item. Hello! He's got a magic, magic spear of sort. Oh no! Oh well, that's uh, that's a problem. Giant lasers that stay there for a long time. Okay. Well, I had no way to know that, but now we know. And knowing is half the battle. You might not even like get anything that good for defeating this guy, but I guess I have to try because he's there. 
Also, so I know about Melania now. I know Melania is a boss in this game. Uh, and I know she like fought Rodan and is like... Either she's the source of the Scarlet Rot or she uses Scarlet Rot. Uh, but that begs the question, why isn't she here in Caleb? Like, where is she? I don't know where her boss fight is. But like, it looks like it's not gonna be in Caleb because I'm almost done exploring Caleb and I haven't seen any trace of her, so... I guess after their battles, she just left and went somewhere else. Can't believe I have to get back down there every time. That's gonna be a pain. What? I wasn't that high. I was not that high. That might be a little too high. Ooh. Man, it is tricky going down there. Shit. I hope it's worth it. This is too high. Oh no! I should have used those runes. I should have used the damn runes when I had the chance. That was like 20 something thousand. Oh well. I mean, having to climb down there every time you want to fight this thing. Like, you guys can put a jump pad down there? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, but what if I... What if I use this jump pad? Do you think maybe they made the distance, like, be the same? No. Of course not. You gotta admit... I was onto something. Could have been the way. I would have been really clever if it was. Well, now I really don't have anything to lose. Yay, my zero runes. I don't even know why they bother having runes to get if you had like zero on you. Like, what's the point? Get up, bitch. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Alright, careful about this thing. Jesus! Really? Really? Uh, okay, so that was pretty much a one-hit kill. Meaning, I'm not gonna fuck with this guy. <laughs> I'll come back way later. I'll come back in the end game. Fuck this guy. I ain't dealing with this. Screw this guy. I will put like a little marker here. But there's some guy there. Alright, uh... I want to go back to the aqueduct. Yeah. I want to see if D is there. He's not on the map, but maybe he is there. And I want to try my hand at the fucking gargoyles again, but I will be using the mimic this time because uh, fuck these gargoyles. But yeah, I need to figure out this D stuff. This D was there, then he wasn't there. Because I didn't actually go back to see if he was there, I just looked at the map and saw his name was gone, so I just left. But, uh... And also, there's something up there, but I don't know how to go up there. So, where is he? He's just gone. He's just gone. Oh, he's a summon sign now. Hell yeah. Beholder of death, let's go. Okay, so I was right, you get to uh, have him help you in the fight against the gargoyles. 
You know what? I'm still gonna use Latena on top of using you. Wait, no. Even better. I'm gonna use the fucking Mimic. Because fuck these guys. Although, they might have more health now because I've summoned. I'm using every cheap trick in the book because fuck these guys. Fucking poison shit. Come on, beholder of death. Show me what you got. me you deserve your name this thing is insane to fight on your own there comes the second one and we haven't really made that much of a dent in this guy Hurry up, hurry up, we need to kill it before the other one! Okay, my Mimic isn't doing much, my Mimic's almost dead, and D... D is doing okay, I guess. Oh, the fucking poison! It, okay, my Mimic just died, I think. D is not doing much better. Man, this is insane. How do you kill these guys? I'm like, you got the poison stuff. D, I hope you can heal yourself, but I don't think you can. It's almost dead. Oh my god. I think summoning D makes them have more health, right? Because when you summon, they do. I think they have more health. So I'm gonna try just the mimic without D, because I don't know how much he's really helping. Also, I don't know what these guys are weak to. Like, I don't think you can bleed them. The spear is too slow. So I don't know. Might just have to come back later, I guess. Did I use the spear? Let's see how much I can do with the spear. With the spear I did like 251. He does have way less health when D isn't here though. I guess I'll try to spear. No, the spear's too slow. I need to be able to hit it like multiple times quickly. Don't use your poison shit. My mimic's almost dead. And here comes the second one. This is fucking insane. Mimic's dead. I haven't even killed one of them.
Really, your fucking poison reaches all the way here? This is such bullshit. If it's just the one, it's not too bad, but... Come on, guys. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, guys. Can't even tell which one's the first one anymore. I think it's the one I'm targeting, right? I'm out of healing. Oh, good. Well, that's it for your boy. Stop running, bitch. Let me just kill one, like, just for my own satisfaction. Just wanna kill one! Ah, oh, look at that! It had like one HP. Okay, this is fucking impossible. I'm not doing this. No way, Jose. I'll have to come back with like better stats, a stronger weapon, something. So, you know what? Let's go from one hopeless thing to another. Let's go to the Lake of Rot. <laughs> Because my brother has confirmed to me there really is no trick to this, you're just supposed to fucking walk through the damn thing. I could try and like... Alright, so this is currently the most immunity I can have with the outfits I have. It's probably gonna make like zero difference. And I don't even know where I'm really supposed to be going, I guess like towards this big door in front of me. I don't think there's much else to see. There is like a thing over there. I could go there. All right, it is going up a little slower. But once it's up, it's just gonna do just as much damage no matter my immunity, right? So it really doesn't matter. I just need to keep healing all the time, basically. Uh. Oh, oh no! No! Get out of here. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, so that's here. Let's keep going. So I have seven heals. Uh, so like it's inevitable that I'm gonna die. But at least I get to kind of see what is here. Ah shit, it's more of these guys. Heal. A golden rune. What is this? Is this a... Is this an enemy? Ooh! Oh. Is that a fucking dragonkin soldier? You would not... You would not put this guy here. Are you kidding me? You put a boss in the rot, can I, like, lead him to the... Can I lead him to the side of grace, at least? So we can fight on, like, normal terrain? I only have three heals left. Maybe if I can find another side of grace, like, there? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought all the rot fell, but I think I just went up. What the hell? What for? What's the point of this? Uh... What the fuck is the point of being up here? 
Huh? And I'm out of heals. Do I need to make a bunch of these rise? But like, what for? I cannot believe they put a Dragonkin soldier there. How are you supposed to fight him in the rot? There's no fucking way. Is there a way for me to like, get him to come like over here? Alright, let me just put my stuff back on. I don't think this is really doing much. Oh, it's his outfit. It does look pretty nice. Roger spent his entire life behaving with utter detachment. No one noticed the anger, grief, regret, or fear that existed along with it. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Okay, so do I just need to raise like a bunch of these? What's the deal with that? Can I like raise these platforms? Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh god. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so maybe there's a possibility to raise like a bunch of platforms that will allow me to fight here, but I don't think they stay up. Do they? Whoa. Okay, Dude, but they don't stay up, right? That's the problem. If I die... So you can kind of like prepare the arena and then fight it? Is that, is that the idea? That sounds like a nightmare. Okay, what if I like raise all of them? Heal. I mean, oh, it creates like some kind of st structure. Shit. Ooh, that was close. So it creates some kind of structure. I don't know what that means. And what's over here? Really, it just drops you. Oh, <gasps> set of grace. Okay, okay, so it might be possible after all. Okay, at least doing this pauses the rot. And then I can rest. Are the platforms gonna stay up? Oh no, I think they, the Grand Cloister. What is even going on down here? Nothing good, I can guarantee that Grand Cloister. There's gonna be a bunch of these fucking like, what are they, basilisks? Ooh. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of these. Oh, there's a whole ton of shit down there. Oh no, it's these uh, silverfish guys. What's over there? The Lake of Rot. Maybe Millennia is down here. Can you imagine? Alright, look, I haven't seen the Millennia boss fight. However, I have heard that it's like one of, if not the hardest fight in this game. So, uh, you know, we have that to look forward to. Okay, but how do I go down there? There's no path. Can I? Oh, I think I can drop down. Okay, okay. I can drop down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, one of these weird centipedes. Golden centipede. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. You want me to like crouch? No? Just drop down then? 
Okay, I can summon here, which is nice. Because there's all these dudes. Uh, let's go with the boys. Because I think we want as many targets as we can have. Oh, they are like praying to something, so there's gonna be something big in there. Big and dangerous. Oh, these are strong. Yeah, yeah, I know you love this, doing this shit. Don't hurt my wolves, you bastard! Die! Let's not underestimate these guys. Guys, you're blocking my path. Die, you fucking abomination. these things. Get him, boys! Yeah! Alright, there's gotta be a bus up there. Oh, man. Oh, uh, boy. What's the... What? Oh? This is highly suspicious. I do not trust this chest at all. Mm, okay. Scorpion stinger, really? That's it? If there was ever gonna be one chest you shouldn't trust, it's like this one in a giant room, like that. Okay, so it gave us a weapon. Okay, well, what else is there down here? Whoa. Wait, what did I just do? I thought it was like acquiring materials. Why am I... Why the fuck would I do that? Okay, that was totally on accident. I'm, I'm not just gonna throw myself down there, am I? I sure am. Yep, let's just go deeper in the Lake of Rod. That's what I want to do. Is this gonna take us to Melania by any chance? I gotta be like really deep underground now. What the hell? How would I survive this fall? Where the hell is this? Are you telling me it goes even deeper underground? You're kidding me. Oh no. Oh god. Where is this? What's all this shit? 
there's not gonna be anything nice down here, that's for sure. Uh, can I get like a side of grace at least? Just in case, you know, I inevitably die. I mean, it kind of feels like I'm underwater almost, because you get all these like shinies and stuff. Of course. Of course. Uh, okay, well, there's. Okay, there's a state of Marika, so we can respawn here if we die. Man, what's gonna be in there? Something big? Oh, hello! We meet at last the natural born of the void, huh? Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Why can I not summon? Why can I not summon? Oh. Okay, I just need to figure out the timing on some of these. Oh, you're so beautiful! This is a very rum moment. Oh, you're a big one. Whoa! Okay, yeah, gravity. You just killed all my wolves. How the hell am I gonna kill this thing? Wow, you're so beautiful! Uh, you really belong in Bloodborne. I don't know what you're doing in here. You should have been the final boss of Bloodborne. And I mean that in the best way. Okay, I need to remember this timing. It has a lot of health too. Okay, so that's a teleport. Why can I not summon Latena here? Is it it said I could summon? How can I not get hit by that? How do I avoid that? Oh, I think I couldn't summon... I think I couldn't summon Latina because I didn't have all my magic, but now I should be able to. Oh boy, I uh, did not expect this thing. So this just deep one, it's basically a deep one, an ancient one, just lives deep underground. She's about to get hit. I'm sorry, Latina. Alright, just keep shooting at it. I'll try and get its attention. Beautiful, nice little tail you got. And, like dodge his tail then maybe I can hit it back that's such a cool fucking design like the original one is cool but this one's even better it's like extra extra weird you know? okay I can block some of the damage at least can't really hit it back though much faster oh, oh. I mean, Latena is kind of slowly doing damage to it. It's gonna take a while, though. I think she's too far now. Hi. Why would this thing have a human face? You know, that makes it extra creepy. It's got a big eye in the skull. 
Like, I want to get close to it, but I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm too scared to get close to it. It's too weird looking. And also, it's got this big AoE attack that, like, I don't know how to dodge. Yeah, why don't you teleport, like, closer to my friend? So she can, like, start shooting me. Ow. Ow. This music, too. This music really makes you feel like this thing is out of this world. Ooh, ooh. Okay, at least it's taking some damage now. I don't know how to avoid all of these attacks. I think my best bet is just kind of to let Latena damage it from afar and like just keep its attention. And hopefully he doesn't attack her. Where are you? Where are you? Ah! Oh, I'd rather you didn't do that. Eating a cookie for our strength. I need some sugar to give me strength right now because holy shit. Alright, so let's dodge this first one. Uh, Letena is doing a good job. I just need to do a good job of dodging its attacks. And hopefully, he doesn't notice her. This is definitely the coolest design I've seen in this game so far. Like, what a cool looking creature. Okay, don't grab me, don't grab me. Okay. You really don't want to get grabbed because I have to imagine it's always a wanted kill. Uh, I might be better off, like, not. Oh, shit, he saw her. Fuck. Hi. You're so pretty! You're so beautiful! I need to do some damage. I can't let Latena have all the fun. Oh, what's, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're doing this shit. Okay. I don't know how... It, I don't know how to dodge that, I guess you just have to run far away from it as fast as you can. Man, it does a lot of damage. I mean, it should, right? Because it's huge and scary and weird, and it's born in the void. Fuck. I need to get better at this timing. At least he's taking some damage from Latena. As long as it doesn't grab me again, I I'll be fine. I need to hit it a few times. Oh, okay, I'd love... Don't grab me, do not grab me. Okay, no, it's getting closer to... He's gonna be right next to her, which is good, but I think he's trying to attack her! Don't do it! Don't do it! Got his eye set on her. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, focus on me instead. Focus on me. Uh, not too much, though. Focus on me. This is the coolest shit. What are you doing? Oh, he's doing the teleport shit. He's gonna try and grab me. Oh! I'm fucking dead. Shit. Ah, oh, I came so close! God damn it. Okay, it's definitely possible. I just really need to dodge that grab attack at all costs. See, I'm not really that big on, like, Dark Souls. Because I don't like medieval stuff as much. Ah, shit, I should have waited. And that's why I like Bloodborne a lot, because I love this kind of, like, Ancient One alien shit. Which uh, Bloodborne has a bunch of. But I didn't really expect it in this game, so I'm happily surprised to see, like, this weird 
cosmic entity in Elden Ring. Definitely makes me love Elden Ring more than Dark Souls. And honestly, this thing would be right at home in Bloodborne. If like this was the final boss in Bloodborne, I would have believed you. <laughs> Look at all the, <laughs> the fucking arrows in its face. I love it. Okay, I got it. I get you. Get, you need to wait like a good while. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, yeah, you need to wait like a long time before dodging because uh, it holds up on that grab. I need to attack it though. Yeah, I'm full health, so I'm gonna be fine. But damn, this attack! Damn this attack. Heal. And good thing that Tena is damaging him, because otherwise... I really wouldn't be doing too good. Ah, oh, he's gonna be too far now. Uh, okay, Sephiroth over here. I've played Kingdom Hearts 2 before. Calling some damn meteors straight from the heavens. To get to its face. Okay, Latena is still in range, thankfully. Like, why does it have a human face? It's gonna try and grab me. Oh, no. I thought he was gonna try and grab me for sure. He's doing it again! Ay, 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 ay. Okay, thankfully, they are like really spread out, so it's not too bad. Doing that. I'm really not doing that much damage to it. <laughs> Thank God Latena is there. She's doing all the work for me. Hi. Get your beautiful little face closer to me so I can give you a little kiss. How can I dodge that? Am I dead? How do you dodge that? It's like all around, but I have to get closer if I want to attack it. God damn it. Oh man, what am I gonna get for defeating this thing? Like, what kind of weird cosmic item? It'd be a shame if it's like, just like a spell, because then I won't get to use it. <laughs> so I hope it's something else. Alright, do your laser, I know you're going to. If I had my Blood Slash on my sword, I could use the Blood Slash to attack it, but I don't have a Side of Grace, so I can't change my Ash of War right now. Chunk chunk. So I guess I need to attack it and then like back away as far as I can. Back away, back away. It's on top of me. Ooh, that was close. And then it leaves and just shows up somewhere else. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Heal, heal! Ooh, that would kill me if it hit. Give me an opening, damn. Oh, okay, he moved, but he didn't try and grab me this time. At least he's close to Latena. Latena, I'm counting on you, girl. Oh, no, not that much, not that much. Don't get grabbed by him. Alright, 
we're good. Oh man. Ooh. Uh, I think he's gonna try and shoot it at her. Okay, no, she didn't take any damage. It looks like he doesn't really know how to deal with her. He sure knows how to deal with me. Alright, as long as it doesn't grab me. I should be okay. Interestingly, I don't think the head is actually a weak point. It looks like it's pretty strong compared to like the arms. I might be wrong. I feel like whenever I hit its head, I don't really do that much damage. Yeah. I gotta be at full health. Cause uh, you never know. Come on, Latena. You got it. You got it, girl. We got this. Together, we can defeat this thing. Oh, okay. Here comes the grab. It didn't grab me. Okay, I can do this. Here it comes. More meteors. Ooh. Okay, I've been lucky so far. Come on, Latena. You can finish him. You got this. You got this, just a few more arrows. Yeah! Holy shit, Remembrance of the Natural Born. Wow. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense that we would get a full Remembrance for this thing. Holy shit. That was a boss. <laughs> that was a proper boss. Alright. I need to read about this thing. Remembrance of Astel, natural born of the void, hewn into the earth tree. A malformed star born in the lightless void far away. Once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky. A falling star of ill omen. I'll say. <laughs> she whiz. Well, uh, this was all Latena, so she really... She was the MVP here. I could not have defeated this thing without her. 80,000. Got it with strength just because I want it to be a round number. Now our strength is a nice round 20. Should give us a bit more equip load as well. So what's behind it? Where is this gonna lead? Oh, is this an elevator? Where is it gonna take us? It is going very fast. Max speed. Oh, oh the deep ice so well. Moonlight altar. What? Oh, I'm on top of this place now. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering how you get up here. Uh. Wow, okay, it didn't look like that from down there. Holy crap. So now we're on top of this segment here. I didn't... I was wondering how you would get up here. Damn. And yet the village of the Alban Rex is like below us, basically. Alright, well, let's see what's up here. Like, what's, what's with the giant moon and all these rays of light? 
Like, it didn't look like that from down there. So it only looks like this up here. Oh, cool. Moonfolk ruins. Are there enemies here? Oh, there sure are. More of these vanishing guys. Oh, that's annoying. Magic grease. I just need to find the staircase, basically, right? Rune arc. Open rune. What is happening? Why is shit like crumbling behind me? Alright guys, I know you're hiding a staircase somewhere here. Just tell me where it is and I'll be on my way. Damn, their spell is like destroying this place. That's some strong spells you guys have. Tell me where the secret staircase is. Apparently this thing can reveal like... Oh! Oh weird, it like triggered the magics? Oh, it triggers traps. And I guess it counts the... Okay. But then where's... The... Oh, there it is. Okay. So it did reveal it. Wow. It actually works. Got a chest. Just a somber smithing stone, okay. Okay. Um Alright, well there's this big structure there, so let's see what that is. Some kind of like church or cathedral. It's really beautiful up here. Oh. Hello, is this the same dragon I... Adula? Yeah, I think it's the dragon that was at the manor. Well, it's time for round two. Time to finish you off. Oop. You can't run away this time. Actually, you can, but... Hopefully you won't. Alright, I forgot you do that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know I was active right now. I thought I was still, like, getting up. Okay, that's okay. The Moonlight Altar. It's a cool name. Why is the moon like so huge and so like shiny up here? What is it about this place? Hello, Adula. Adula the Butcher. Off to a bad start, but it happens. You just killed some innocent animals. You monster. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Shut your trap. Oh, 
this dragon is really kicking my ass. but I can't fucking reach it. There you go. Ah, I keep missing. <laughs> Here comes the magic fire! Well, I don't know how I survived that. I must have had like one health left. <laughs> I got hella lucky. Oh, okay. Big sword? I didn't know you could do that. I knew you could do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and drop Latena somewhere around there. Somewhere where she hopefully does not get hit. Because uh, this guy is being surprisingly challenging. Because I fought a lot of dragons, but this guy is kind of giving me trouble. So like, let me try and find a good spot for her where she is close enough, but not enough to get hit. Here. Uh, try and give me a little assist, Latena, if you can. I would really appreciate that. She might be too far. Oh, no, she's shooting. Have you met my friend Latena? She's first. She's first of her class. At annoying giant bosses from very far away. Oh. Shit, she's gonna make him get up. Yeah! Oh, look at that bleed, baby! Oh, it's coming with the sword! Hmm. Adula had one last trick up its sleeve. This dragon really giving me a run for my money. I'm so glad I found Athena. I'm so glad I upgraded her. I'm so glad she's in this game. This boy is so useful. The fight starts and like, just from it waking up, you already have time to bleed it once. Yeah, I do the steps, I can avoid those, well, I'm actually pretty bad at avoiding them, but at least they don't do... Hurry up, hurry up! Oh, I missed my chance! Okay, well, I bled it at least. Are you gonna do the sword? No, you're gonna do the stomp. Why am I targeting the damn head? Yeah, I blocked that somehow. Oh, here comes a sword! Okay, you just killed something, I don't know what. You're going down, Adula! 
This is the end for you. Finish him off, Dana. Finish him up. Finish him up before. Before. Oh, yeah, she got him. Latina, you rock, baby girl. Adula's Moonblade. Oh, it's a spell. Moonblade? Is that like the Moonlight Sword? No, it's a spell, right? Wow. Sweeping Slash followed by a Cold Blade Projectile. Oh, that's why it was resistant to my sword. It's because it's, it's like an Ice Dragon. The Cleanstone Dragon conjures a cold magic greatsword and delivers a sweeping blow that launches a blade-like projectile of frost. Adula, a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Rani and subsequently soar a nightly oath to her dark moon. I see. Uh, Latena, you did great. You're gonna get a promotion. The Cathedral of Manu Celeste. Got a bunch of items. Starlight Shard. Starlight Shards, they're all gonna be Starlight Shards. Starlight Shards. What's with all the Starlight Shards? I actually have like too many of them. They're going to into my bank now. Starlight Shards. Is there no one to talk to here who can like tell me more about this place? Starlight Shard. Oh wait. Oh, there's like a hole that goes underground. Wait, this Holy shit, this dragon gave me a hundred twenty thousand runes? Okay, that's uh, more than the fucking ancient dragon itself gave me. Holy crap. Uh, let's get some dexterity going, I guess. Wow, even with that much runes, at this point that only gives me two levels. <laughs> so, um, if I go down there, am I just gonna die? Because I can't, man, I can't see anything. Oh, okay, it's not as deep as I thought. What the hell is down here? This should take me to the village of the Albinorix, right? Because that's what's right under us. I don't know what I'm gonna find down here. Uh. Wait, is this Ronnie? Hello? We don't ring. Wait, it is Ronnie. Is this like a two finger? Did she kill the two fingers? We don't ring. It is Ronnie. It's Ronnie without the cloak. But I thought she wasn't that little doll that I have on me. Oh, I could I can give her the ring that I found in her chest. Holy crap, let's do it. Yeah, it is her. Damn, how did she kill this thing? Is she like still alive or Ronnie? of the full moon 
Will you do me the honor of being my weird moon witch until death do us part? Might be too late. Look at that, her whole body's like it's kind of made of rope and stuff. It might be too late. Oh, she's vanishing. Oh, and she's back. Hi. So I guess she fulfilled her mission. Her mission was to kill the two fingers. So there were, there is like an original two fingers. Is this like the main one? Because there's all these other ones, but. Hi. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps well, your lady, but sure. Thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art so a are we like choice. really married now? I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other okay. once more. I'll hold you up to it. And she's gone. Oh, and she left something. Oh! <gasps> the Dark Moon Greatsword. Is that like the moonlight sword of this game? Oh, but it's going to be a strained weapon. Yeah. And intelligence. Oh, man. A moon grit. It is the moonlight sword. Bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition. Wow. Ronnie's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and the sword is but a beam of its light. Moonlight greatsword. Raises the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the dark moon. Wow, so it's literally the moon the moonlight sword. Oh, but man, I can't use it. It's too bad. And what about this thing? Ew, it's like a weird it's got hair on it. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail, glistening with scarlet rot. Ooh. A ceremonial tool used by heretics, crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. That, uh, that's some words. Uh, so I guess this thing does like Scarlet Rod Buildup. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool. I mean, I'd rather like a sword that does Scarlet Rod. Is this like a dagger? I don't really like using a dagger, it's very small range. Okay, so. This must be like a big step in the Rani quest line, right? If not the final step. Uh, holy crap. Okay. Alright, well, I will explore, like... Oh, there's something there, too. I'm going to explore the space just a little bit more, so in case there's anything else here. I guess it makes sense that we would find Rani in this place, right? The moon altar. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. I just didn't expect to see her in this form again. Oh, Lunar Estate Ruins. More ruins already. Oh, uh, it's these things. Uh, oh, yeah, they're ringing the bell again. Okay. Um, uh, well, before... Are these also ruins? These are all ruins. Yep, they sure are. Hello. Ouch. 
die. Uh, okay, does this count as the same ruins as the other ones? Because I didn't see any new names show up, so... Are there a different staircase here? Let's try using this thing. the staircase. Man, that thing really works. Another chest. A smithing stone. Level 8. And 3 of them. Wow. So what if I follow this pad down? Where is this gonna take me? Have I been to this church there? This area is actually pretty huge. Oh, more wolves. I guess wolves are related to the full moon. Like earlier I was like, oh why is there all these wolves where Renala is concerned? And I guess it's because wolves are kind of linked to the full moon. So it makes sense. Oh, it's snails. Yeah, this is a new place. It's not somewhere I had access to before, so let's check it out. Other side of grace. Which rise is this gonna be? The door's locked, of course. It can be some kind of riddle again. Seek three great wise beasts. Okay, it's gonna be... Kelona's Rise. Kelona's Rise? So we're hunting some turtles again, I'm guessing. Sometimes they're, they're even hanging like from trees and walls. They have them hiding all sorts of places. Oh. Wait, no, these ones aren't magic. Oh, don't have me kill all the turtles. But one of one of them is the wise beast. No, I don't think they are. It's just there to They are just there to confuse you. Well, I don't know where they are, and I don't have time to look, so I'm gonna leave that for later. Usually they're very close to these buildings, so I don't think they would be, like, really far away from it. Although, maybe. Maybe they wanted to do something different. Okay, there is something, like, there at the very tip. There's a crystalline there. Crystalline. So they're not just. Is that a dragon or is that just a tree? I think that's a dragon. And there's a crystalline. So they're not just bosses, they're also just regular enemies out in the wild. I just completely missed these? Oh no, it's because I, I went under. Okay, so definitely a dragon up there. And then another of these wolves up here. Yikes! Oh, that's a whole lot of damage. This wolf is not messing around. 
I'm surprised there's no like secret cavern in the walls of this area. Like some catacombs. Holy crap. These guys don't mess around. Oh, this thing just spawned out of nowhere. Oh, hello. God damn. Again, I can't summon here. It's just... A straight battle. Is one strong wolf. Oh, there it is. I know, it looks pretty big. Looks pretty big. Okay, no, I don't think this one's a boss. Shit, this is higher than I thought. Oh, okay, yeah, there's just multiple dragons here. Uh... Ah, okay, okay, okay. I got the message. I got the message. You guys don't like visitors. I get it, I get it. I will leave you alone. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Damn. That's so much damage. And it has a lot of help too. Not even like staggering it. <laughs> even with the spear. Okay, let's just keep the sword. So at least I can bleed it. Broke my stance. I just need to be patient and not be reckless. I can do this. Stay healed. Okay, and uh, don't get hit by that. Also important detail. Let me heal. This one is way stronger than way stronger than the one in the academy. Oh. He's probably going to respawn. Oh. Hello. You came back up here way faster than I thought. I guess you also know teleportation spells. Ay 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 ay. All right. Frosty. Don't get hit by that. Ooh. Shit. 
Almost there. Getting it too close. Give me an easy to avoid one. That's the one. Shit, he dodged it completely. That's the one. And you're dead. God damn. That was like almost a boss. Alright, what were you guarding? A smithing stone? These are all gonna be smithing stones. Alright. Alright, just one last thing and it's checking this thing there. Oh, and there's an Evergel too. The ringleader average. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. Uh, well, everything else here is really strong, so this is also probably really strong. But let's uh, let's give it the old college try. It's gonna be something big. Oh uh, no, okay. Alecto Black Knife. Oh, the leader of the Black Knives. Interesting. Not gonna grab me. Whoa, okay, that's a, that's a cool little move. What if I stagger you with my spear? How about that? I did no damage to this guy. Alecto. Well, he is the leader. Oh no, they're all women, right? So it's a girl. Oh yeah, and she's got the same name as the Electo from Hades. Um, I don't know, I did like no damage to this uh, lovely lady. Let me see if that was just uh, me sucking or if this is really just hopeless. <laughs> Wow, okay, she's got a lot of health. Can't get them by that grab. The bleed might take care of her, but... You almost fell off. The bitch fell off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn, you're fast. Damn, you're fast. Hmm. <laughs> I can see why you're the ringleader, Alecto. They were right to make you their leader. I mean, it still feels possible. It's challenging, but not impossible, I think. Damn. 
shit. Worst time. Did you really do that much damage even though I had my... My defense thing on? about this. Crazy move. It's easy, I just need to not get hit. <laughs> I just need to not get hit. Destroys my stamina. She's bleeding like black. Run away, run away. Whatever you do, don't let her grab you, because that's insta kill. kinds of moves. Elon, you're scary. Can you imagine there's a second phase to this? <laughs> like, I'm doing okay, but she has way more health than I can realistically take care of. Although, I don't know, maybe with the bleed? Get her stuck in the wall! Don't get stuck in the wall. Ooh, that was close. I was like, why is my stamina going back up so slow? It's because I'm blocking a lot. Oh, leave me alone! I think I could stagger her a little bit more. Electo, girl! I can be too slow with this, but like maybe if I can stagger her a bit more with the spear. Yeah, 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 you scare me. Okay, final heal. I'm dead. Oh! You're not dead. Man, that took everything just to bring her to half health. <laughs> I mean, I could get hit a bit less than I did, but that still took all my health, all my vials, and I just, I only reach half health, so uh, I think we'll have to come back to this one at a later time, once I can do maybe a bit more damage, because like I'm doing just little, just tiny little scratches on her. I'm gonna put a little marker here. Let's see what that remembrance gets us, 
and then we'll put an end to today's episode. Okay, well, these two fingers are still okay. Even though Rani killed the other one. Bastard stars, it's a flail. Flail which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of Astel. Look at that thing. Formed of the same many colored star debris that comprise the form of the natural born of the void. It's an intelligence weapon. And then waves of darkness. Usable on great axes, great hammers, great spears. I don't have any of those. Lunge armament into the ground to release three waves of darkness. Follow up with a strong attack to swing the armament in a sweeping strike. These boats seem kind of cool, but like... I won't be able to use them unless I respec. I am becoming more and more tempted to respec to intelligence because like we're finding so many equipment that uses intelligence way more than like fate and arcane it seems. So maybe I'll respec to intelligence. So I'm not gonna spend this yet. Uh, fate, like my plan was Dex and Faith, but I haven't really found a lot of Fate equipment so far. Greeting, do you have a I'm gonna give even more to Latena because she's awesome. Hell yeah, let's do it. Latena plus nine, baby. And with this, we'll bring today's episode to a close. We defeated the craziest looking boss today. We did a big step forward in Rani's questline, if not finished it. She did say we would meet her again, so there might still be more to it, but uh, it certainly was a big step, I think. I think we're pretty much done with Kaelid. We can say goodbye to Kaelid for good now. Like, unless there's some small stuff I missed. Uh, if there's anything important that I missed in Kaelid, do let me know in the comments. But if not, we'll just keep exploring like some remaining stuff and then move on to the Atlas Plateau very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun playing this. I hope you had fun watching it. And I hope you catch me next week for the next episode of Elden Ring. See y'all.